What's up friends, welcome back to the channel for another movie reaction. Today I'm going to be checking out Goodfellas, which has been a very highly requested movie pretty much since the channel had started. And so that makes me very excited to check it out because of how many people have been recommending it, been wanting to see a reaction to it, so I assume that it's going to be pretty good. I know that it stars Robert De Niro, again another movie with him, which is great. Obviously seen him recently in The Godfather Part 2 and in Heat, loved him in both of those, and it's been great to kind of see him in some of his earlier roles. I'd only really known him for a couple of later roles in his life, but I'd always heard people talk about him as one of the greatest actors, and so it's finally great to put some context to those words. So I'm expecting a great performance from him in this, and I also saw that it stars Joe Pesci as well. I think I've only seen him in Home Alone, but I love him in that, so I'm sure I'll love him in this as well. And it's definitely another movie that has a pretty hefty runtime at about two and a half hours, so uh, hopefully we get a lot of great scenes packed into there and I'm excited to see what the story's about because I don't really know anything about it and unlike when I watched The Godfather I had known like a couple of moments from that just because of like memes or images that I'd seen shared frequently but with this one I don't know if I have seen anything because if I have it's probably been out of context and I didn't really know what it was from and so I'm going into this one almost completely blind I think maybe I'll recognize a few things as it goes along but I'm sure it's gonna be a good time hope you guys enjoy watching me react to it if you'd like to watch along with me for the entire length of the movie definitely check out my patreon the link for that is in the description that's where you can find my full length reaction to this as well as all my other full-length reactions for stuff I've done on the channel as well and those always go up earlier than the YouTube edits so if you'd like to see them sooner as well that'd be the place to do it but if by the end of this video you enjoyed watching me react to it definitely consider leaving a thumbs up it helps the video reach a lot more people and helps the channel out so I appreciate you guys who do that but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into Goodfellas Whoa, okay, shoot, I didn't realize that this was a true story. Dang, that certainly adds a very interesting element to it. Was not expecting that text at the beginning. Is there flat? Is there flat? What? No. Is there somebody stuck in the trunk of their car right now? Surely they didn't get in there by accident, right? Oh, dang, dude just went to town on him. And if the stabbing wasn't enough, they shot him a bunch. Holy crap, quite the opening scene right there. These guys are not anyone you want to mess with, it seems like. They weren't like anybody else. I mean, they did whatever they wanted. They double parked in front of a hydrant, and nobody ever gave them a ticket. They played cards all night, nobody ever called the cops. Like the narration combined with the music so far, it's fun. Hey, Paulie. Paulie might have moved slow, but it was only because Paulie didn't have to move for anybody. <laughs> nice, I like that line. I feel like I recognize the name Polly too. There wasn't anybody in The Godfather named Polly, was there? Wise guys would pull up and Tootie would toss me their keys and let me park their Cadillacs. I can't even see over the steering wheel and I'm parking Cadillacs. <laughs> nice. He's got a pretty good gig, it seems like. He's in with the right people. My father was always pissed off. He was pissed that my kid brother Michael was in a wheelchair. He was pissed that there were seven of us living in such a tiny house. Those do sound like pretty terrible conditions. Can't blame him for feeling that way. But after a while, he was mostly pissed because I hung around the cab stand. The way I saw it, everybody takes a beating sometime. <laughs> the dialogue's great this movie so far. Also, don't sympathize with that dad anymore. It only took a second for me to not like him as much. For a guy who moved all day long, Paulie didn't talk to six people. Everything was one-on-one. -on -one. He didn't want anybody hearing what he said, and he didn't want anybody listening to what he was being told. Love the setup. This is super cleverly filmed. Just like Gangs of New York, this movie is moving pretty fast through the story, but it's done in a way that's not like jarring or anything. I mean, I had more money than I could spend. I had it all. Oh, jeez, what a freaking shot. One day, some of the kids from the neighborhood carried my mother's groceries all the way home. You know why? It was out of respect. 
Dang, this guy's made himself a regular gangster at 13. Not bad at all for being so young. It was when I first met Jimmy Conway. Now, he'd walk in the door and everybody who worked the room just went wild. He'd give the doorman a hundred just for opening the door. Dang, this guy just handing out money like it's nothing. Business must be good for Robert De Niro. I pinched. Everybody gets pinched, but you did it right. You told them nothing and they got nothing. I'm proud of you. you learned the two greatest things in life. Well, never ride on your friends and always keep your mouth shut. He's basically become his father figure at this point. Definitely filled that supporting role in his life. Seems like a smart guy as well. A lot of wisdom, just using it for not the best means. And then there was Mo Black's brother, Fat Andy. <laughs> That's an and unfortunate his guy nickname. Is the Wop. And then there was Pete the Killer, who was Sally Balls' brother. I'm assuming that means he killed somebody. This is a great shot introducing all these characters. I love that the story so far is just kind of like dragging you along, just guiding you throughout all the plot and all the info so far. There could be like a half a mil coming in, all cash. What about the security? Man? You're looking at it. I feel like it's a little too early in the movie for everything to go right in a hit like that. I start to come out of it. Who do I see in front of me? This big prick again. He says, oh, what do you want to tell me now, tough guy? I said, Ming, what are you doing here? I thought I'd tell you to go your money. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh, it looks so fake. <laughs> really funny. What do you mean I'm funny? <laughs> funny, you're a funny guy. You're right. Funny how? Funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. Oh, this got real awkward real quick. He turns super intimidating. You know how you tell the story? What? How do I know? You said I'm funny. Tell me. Tell me what's funny. Daddy, you're Tommy. I almost had him. I almost had him. Oh, he was just faking. I was super worried there for a second. You may fold under questioning. <laughs> it's a great way to show his character, though, that he can be pretty forceful and intimidating, even though Joe Pesci himself isn't necessarily like a intimidating looking guy. You're a funny guy. <laughs> You wanna laugh? This prick last week asked me to christen his kid. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's laugh cracks me up. It's so accentuated, so out there. Good to know though that Joe Pesci can snap at any moment. <laughs> that won't make scenes stressful in the future. The only thing is she won't go out with me alone, you know? She don't wanna go out with Italians alone. She's prejudiced against Italians. She won't go out with me alone. Unless her girlfriend comes with us, I figure you come along and go out with a girlfriend. Dang, it's even hard out there for a gangster in the dating game. Love that no matter what situation you're in, there's always the problem with trying to find a girlfriend. I couldn't wait to get away. I was ordering the dessert when they were eating dinner. When they were having coffee, I was asking for a check. I had business. Henry's not interested one bit in dating, though, it looks like. I couldn't stand him. I thought he was really obnoxious. He kept fidgeting around. Oh shoot, we've switched the narrators now. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was just gonna be Henry the whole time. Before it was even time to go home, he was pushing me into the car and then pulling me out. <laughs> nice editing there. You got your nerve standing me up. Who the hell do you think you are? Frankie Valley or some oh. kind of big shot? <laughs> Dang, she's pretty brave coming up to him like that. Does she know he's like one of the biggest gangsters around? <laughs> I remember she's screaming on the street, and I mean loud, but she looked good. I'll think about it. It's gonna cost you. Hey, it worked. She's got his attention. Now, respect to her, she's bold. Gave him a stack. How you doing, Gino? Yeah. How are you? Good, good. He's definitely picked up the method of Robert De Niro of paying everybody. This is a great shot as well, just following them throughout the whole hallway. Definitely goes back to the Gangs of New York movie where he just. Martin Scorsese does a great job at putting together these impressive shots with so many moving parts. I'm so impressed that this shot is still going on. This is way cool. And I thought just going through the hallway in the kitchen was impressive, and now there's like hundreds of people in one shot. Well, if she didn't know he's a gangster, she knows he's a pretty big deal now. Proud to present the king of the one-liners, Henny Youngman. Bro, this shot is still going on. I'm amazed. Always love me some one-takes. They're super intriguing. 
We walked out with $420,000 without using a gun, and we did the right thing. We gave Paulie his tribute. <laughs> oh man, looks like earning money as a gangster is pretty freaking easy. At least that job, dang. The movies I've watched recently, I'm not used to jobs being that easy. Hey Karen. Hi. How you doing? Okay Bruce, how are you? Okay. Good to meet you. Mm -hmm. I'll see you around later. The past love interest, maybe? That guy's definitely gonna be in some trouble if he tries anything later. Henry looks like he might be a little bit jealous. He started to grab me. I told him to stop. He didn't stop. I hit him back and then he got really angry. Dang, bro. I knew if that guy tried anything, he was a freaking dead man. Now we're gonna see him pay for his crimes. Oh, you want some? Huh? Oh, hey! Hey! Ah! You touch her again, you're dead! That dude came up to him so confident, and Henry just absolutely beat him half to death. Oh, she watched the whole thing. Hi, guys. Are you alright? I don't know what she's gonna think about that. I know there are women like my best friends who would have gotten out of there the minute their boyfriend gave them a gun, but I didn't. It turned me on. Oh, dang, she's into it. What the? Henry found himself a keeper. The bag with all the envelopes and all the money. Don't worry about that. Nobody's gonna steal that here. Okay. Okay. She's already feeling the stress that comes with the profession, but it looks like she's definitely into the power that comes with it as well. I definitely didn't expect a bit of a love story in this movie. Your father never stayed out all night without calling! Dad! Will you leave him out of this? He's suffered enough. The man hasn't been able to digest a decent meal in six weeks. <laughs> Poor old dad. Can't blame her too much because I don't know if I would be a big fan of my daughter marrying a gangster. What would happen if you had to go to prison? Nobody goes to jail unless they want to. I know what I'm doing. I got things organized with these guys. That's pretty crazy to think that they're so protected that there's no way they can even go to jail. Can't even imagine oh, that feeling of just right doing whatever you want with no consequences. We always were in the same crowd. We only went to each other's houses. And when we went to the islands of Vegas for vacation, we always went together. No outsiders ever. Dang, that's so interesting. Just got just such a massive elite club of people that only hang out with each other saying it out loud that there's definitely some of those prominent today give us a drink give them all a drink there and give those uh, irish hoodlums a drink down there there's only one irishman here yeah. <laughs> hey shout out to the irishman movie with him in it later don't know anything about that movie just know the name and it's got robert de niro tommy all dressed up all grown up and doing the town look at this oh it's mom Oh, oh, come here. Is this the guy that was in the trunk in the beginning? Hard to tell because the guy in the trunk was so bloodied at the beginning. Hey, Tommy, if I was going to break your balls, I'd tell you to go home and get your shine box. <laughs> That's not the guy you want to upset. We saw earlier how angry and intimidating he can get. Now go home and get your shine box. Mother yeah, 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 you come on. Come on! Keep him here! Keep him here! This guy must not know who Tommy is, otherwise he wouldn't be speaking to him like that. Hey, Jimmy, what's right is right. You insulted him a little bit. You got a little out of order yourself. No, I didn't insult him. Come on, let's have some drinks, all right? Drinks on the house. Come on. Let me... I don't know, but I feel like if these guys buy you something or pay for anything, they can hold it over your head as if you owe them something in return. Yeah. Oh, dang, was that their plan all along, was just to get him drunk and to stay there so they could beat him? Well, not just beat him, but kill him. Just keep quiet, I don't want to wake her up. Oh, hey. Yeah, look who's here, look who's here. Hey, what are you doing, what happened? <laughs> Awkward walking in on your mom with blood on your shirts. I wonder if she knows what he does. No, I haven't seen him so long. No. I want to see him. Can you just go inside? This stuff is great, but it's like lit. The middle of the night, she makes him a whole meal. I like this lady. He's a kind mom for sure. Looks like somebody we know. <laughs> oh, dang, what a shot. That was dope. These guys are so cool and calm and collected. They're just having a normal conversation with a half dead guy in the trunk. You can see how a white girl can fall for him. What? 
In other words, you condone that stuff. <laughs> it's easy. You have to watch out sometimes how you say things. You know, people get the wrong impression. Tommy is the most jealous guy I've ever seen. You can't have one misspoken word around him otherwise he'll call you out and he won't let up I feel like it'd be exhausting to be around him too much great shot right there love how much score says he packs people into his frames he's not cheating on Karen is he He freaking is. This dude finds a wife who's okay with all of his gangster activities and still cheats on her. That's cold. I guess I don't know if Karen's okay with that lifestyle or choices though, so maybe she's down with that as well. The guy who disappeared up the block from Christie, the one that made the beef on. Oh yeah, he came into the joint that one night and then he just disappeared. All right, keep your eyes open. Shoot, that thing's gonna come back to bite him, it looks like. Is that gonna be the catalyst for the rest of the film's events? I guess we didn't really see who that guy was before they killed him. Maybe he was a big deal in some other circles. Jimmy, it's been six months. I don't care how long it's been, we gotta get it out of there right away. <laughs> Jeez, that's terrible. Hard enough successfully finding a place to bury a body than to have to dig him back up and rebury him. Karen was home with the kids and she never asked any questions anyway. Oh, Maurice Valencia. Looks like Roma. The camera moves are always so calculated and specific. Probably takes so much rehearsal to pull these off. Even just smaller moves like this in the apartment. What am I, a mirage? Can I ask you for a drink? You wanted a drink. No, I thought you said it was, I was all right, Spider. So you, no, you ain't all right. No, I thought you said you were all right. I think it's better just to stop arguing with him at this point. Just get him a drink. Hey, what's that movie that bogged on me? Which one? The one where he played a cowboy. The only the uh, one. The, the Oklahoma Kid. That's me. I'm the Oklahoma Kid. Hey, Thanks. Thanks. Yahoo. Tommy loves just pulling out that gun and waving it. Tommy's screwing everything up these past couple minutes. He's the reason they had the problem with the body. Now they're gonna have a problem with this waiter boy. Man's an absolute loose cannon. Karen, will you grow up? Stop! I'm still gonna go out. What's your problem? Something's going on. I look in your face and I know that you're lying! <laughs> It's amazing how fast her persona changed about him. Not too long ago, she was defending his actions, those very same actions that she hates now, to her mom. I don't know if there's any relationship in the gangster ring that can last or be successful. Saw the same thing in The Godfather. Tell the truth, you're looking for sympathy, is that it, sweetie? Why don't you f yourself, Tommy? Oh no, he did not just say that to Tommy. What's the world coming to? What are you stupid or what? Tommy cannot contain any emotion. Now they got another freaking body to deal with that he's responsible for. They gotta find a way to get rid of this dude. He keeps causing them all sorts of issues. Not to mention, I would just be personally terrified to be near that guy. One wrong word and he's gonna kill you. Karen, are you crazy? Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm crazy enough to kill them both of you. Dang, Karen's reached her breaking point. Shoot. But still, I couldn't hurt him. I couldn't even bring myself to leave him. I was still very attracted to him. Why should I give him to someone else? It's just gonna be an endless cycle of pain as long as she stays with him. Ah! Crazy! Just, huh? Huh? How does it feel, Karen? <laughs> Dang, maybe she should have just done it then. This is one bad dude to be in a relationship with. Feel bad for Karen, man. She didn't realize what she was getting herself into. She was just in that honeymoon phase, and then once it wore off, she realized how dangerous it was. You're not gonna get a divorce. She'll kill him, but you want a divorce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cutting in this movie's been great so far. Definitely need good editing for a story that moves this quickly from scene to scene and that covers so much information. It'd be easy to have a story that was kind of confusing or didn't make sense, but it's very well done. The guy we roughed up turned out to have a sister working as a typist for the FBI. She gave up everybody, Jimmy, me, even her brother. No way, they all got freaking caught. I was not expecting the movie to take that turn. What? What the heck? I was pretty sure these guys were invincible. Sweetheart, you know, you're solitary. You're 
They had that conversation earlier in the movie where he assured her that he was never going to prison. Shows he was just telling her what she wanted to hear in that moment. He probably believed it though too himself. I believed it. You get pictures okay. in your mind of all those old movies with rows and rows of guys behind bars. But it wasn't like that for wise guys. I mean, we own the joint. Dang, never mind. Even going to prison isn't a bad thing for these guys. They're basically living in a five-star hotel right now. I guess I shouldn't have felt so bad for them a second ago. What was that? Looked like some pills. Is this man in the drug game while he's in prison? Seems kind of risky to get involved in that. Even Vito Corleone knew not to get messed up in that business. I'm amazed that she stayed with him for all this time. Jimmy wasn't lying earlier when he said that she's not gonna leave him. Very interested to see where this story goes because so far I don't know or I haven't been able to predict anything that's going on with it. Seems like a very unorthodox story structure. As long as I kept getting this stuff from Pittsburgh, I knew Polly would never find out. I needed some help, so I got Jimmy and Tommy to come in with me. I feel like that's a real bad idea, man. These two guys are the reason that he got into trouble before. They weren't careful enough. And these are the guys that Jimmy put together for what turned out to be the biggest heist in American history. The Lufthansa heist. Shoot, that line just reminded me that this is based off a true story. I'd completely forgotten that. That line makes me super intrigued, though. The biggest in American history. Nobody knows for sure. Just how much was taken in the daring pre-dawn raid at the Latanza Cargo Terminal at Kennedy Airport. The biggest this town has ever seen. Stay tuned. Wait, so they didn't even show the actual heist? Dang, that's unexpected. I have i don't know how many movies I've seen where they talk about the biggest heist in history and then don't actually show anything from it. That's like Reservoir Dog style storytelling. Respect it though, matches the rest of the tone of the movie. Are you stupid or what? Did you hear what I said? Don't buy anything, don't get anything, nothing big. Sorry, what did I tell you? I what did I tell you? Jimmy's pretty scary when he wants to be. He's got a point though, that guy was pretty foolish for buying an expensive car after a hit like that. Keep seeing his face for like a split second, but I think that that's Samuel Jackson. <laughs> what? So we got these hot it is. I had no idea he was in this movie. What the heck? Yeah, you're always late for your own funeral. Surely they didn't kill him in basically like the first main scene that he's in. This movie's ridiculous. I can't expect anything. They're gonna make him. He's gonna make you? Huh? Huh? He's gonna get made? We're gonna work for this guy one day. He's gonna be a boy. <laughs> Did he just say he's he's getting made? Because if that's all they said, I don't really know what that means. I feel like for some of this stuff in this movie, I need to have had a background knowledge in gangster lifestyle. I could see for the first time that Jimmy was a nervous wreck. Maury tells his wife everything. That's when I knew Jimmy was gonna whack Maury. Shoot, man, we're gonna have more bodies to worry about. Piling up such a body count in this movie. Surely gonna come back to bite him. I knew I still had to later nine o'clock to talk Jimmy out of killing Maury. <laughs> Nobody better tell him that he's telling a funny story, that's for sure. We saw how bad that worked out last time. Are they laughing at his story so much because they're afraid if they don't laugh at him, he'll kill him? Who loves you more than I do, huh? I'd do anything for you. Oh, you wanna go to Dino or what? Well, we'll go to Dino over there on the boulevard. I have a bad feeling about this. I think they're just gonna kill him. And Henry's not there. No one's there to stop him. I knew it, dude. They freaking killed him. How many people can they kill without any sort of consequences? And surely a guy like that who's been pretty major throughout the movie is gonna have some people that are gonna wanna know where he is. You're gonna like this guy. He's all right. He's a good fella. He's one of us. Hey, Understand? there's the title drop. Nice. We were good fellas. Wasn't expecting to hear the name of the movie in it. To become a member of a crew, you've got to be 100% Italian so they can trace all your relatives back to the old country. Dang, it really is a very elite club. Can't even get in there by effort alone. As far as Jimmy was concerned, with Tommy being made, it was like we were all being made. 
we would now have one of our own as a member. Okay, so that's what being made means. That is a pretty freaking... Oh my gosh, dude, what? That was easily the most unexpected moment so far of the movie. My goodness, why the freak did they assassinate him like that? It was revenge for Billy Bats and a lot of other things. Oh, and that's that. shoot. There was nothing that we could do about it. Dang, the tone of the movie completely changed with that moment. Everything was seemingly so happy for them and looking up and even the music was upbeat. Surely from here, Jimmy's gonna wanna take revenge, right? Now I knew my Pittsburgh guys always wanted guns and since I was gonna see them later in the afternoon to pick up a delivery. Is he afraid that he's gonna get caught by that helicopter? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so he is getting followed by that helicopter. Shoot. Is he getting followed by the cops? Is that who they are? Or is it the same people who assassinated Tommy? See, I was cooking dinner that night. I had to start braising the beef, pork butt, and veal shanks for the tomato sauce. This movie's moving so fast right now, but it's super entertaining. I feel like we're spending like 10, 15 seconds in each location the way that it's rolling. Come on, stop, stop, stop. We'll talk about it later, okay? Goodbye. The camera moves are so impressive. Even just little things like that. Now make sure you leave the house when you make the call. Call from an outside line, I mean it. You must think I'm dumb. What are you bugging me for? Based off how poorly everybody else has done this movie and following directions, I don't think she's going to do very well. After everything I told her, she picks up the phone and calls from the house. Now if anybody was listening, they'd know everything. Oh my gosh. I knew it, man. Nobody can follow directions in this movie. What the heck? They gotta find and some better freaking people to work with. Freeze, freeze! Don't you move! I'll blow your brains out! Shut the car up slowly! Oh my gosh, he's freaking screwed. But when I heard all the noise, I knew they were cops. If they had been wise guys, I wouldn't have heard a thing. I would have been dead. That's interesting, man. He actually was happy that they were cops and not the other dudes. Guess it makes sense because we saw what happened to Tommy earlier. He just offed him immediately. All day I thought the guys in the helicopter were just local cops. They turned out to be narcs. Knew it was risky for him to get into the drug business, though. People are already walking away from me. I'm dead in here. You gotta get me out. Karen finally got her mother to put her house up for my bail, and I was out. The way that this movie moves from scene to scene is absolutely genius. We don't ever, like, sit in a particular scene or location for more than a few minutes. Never get a chance to be bored with anything. You're all I've got, and I really, really need your help. Take this. Shoot, it actually worked. I didn't think he was going to get anything out of this. It's amazing, though, that in one movie we see him kind of start kind of at the lowly bottom, then rise to the very top, and now he's back at the complete bottom again. Tell him he's got to call me, okay? He doesn't know I came down here to see you. You know, it's like he's crazy. Take this one out. It's a couple thousand. I don't trust Jimmy at this point, knowing the way that he likes to cut ties with anybody that has connections to him. I feel like he's just smooth talking her right now, so she's able to bring him to him. Over here? Right down there. No, he's gonna have her killed. Dang it, she shouldn't have gone and met with him. Nothing even particularly intense is happening, but it's scary because I know exactly what kind of person Jimmy is. Go ahead, it's right in there. Oh, Jimmy, right there. I'm in a hurry. My mom's watching it's the right kids. The I'm get home. Smart, man. Way to be. She freaking read that situation. The kid turned out to be a rat. As soon as he got pinched, he ratted everybody out. He ratted his all out. I know where he is. He's hiding now. Would you have a problem going with Anthony on vacation? No, take care of him. He is asking him to kill him right now. Shoot. I don't know if I'd trust anything that Jimmy tells me at this point. I feel like that's just a ploy to get him away from him. That's when I knew I would never have come back from Florida alive. Yep, this man knows as well. Jimmy's just trying to get him killed in the easiest and stealthiest way possible. Love the way that they set up the characters so that even in dialogue situations like that, I know exactly what's going on before the character even explains it. Just no place cold, alright? He's legitimately bronchial. We'll 
take them into consideration. Bronc, you Would you like to go someplace that's not cold? Is he starting to tell them everything and then they're trying to get into witness protection or something? This is definitely not the direction I was expecting this movie to go. I've heard you on a telephone. Conversation after conversation, you're talking to Henry on the phone. Dang, Jimmy's done for. Doesn't matter. <laughs> this editing is fantastic. Love how the most significant moments that I would think would be the biggest things in the movie, they spend like a split second on it and then just move on. We paid off lawyers, we paid off judges, everybody had their hands out. Everything was for the taking. And now it's all over. <laughs> what the heck? He just was talking straight to the audience right there. Right after I got here, I ordered some spaghetti with marinara sauce and I got egg noodles and ketchup. I'm an average nobody. Get to live the rest of my life like a schnook. Dang, this movie was nuts. It did nothing that I expected. Even after all that, they still separated? That's crazy. Dang, so this movie obviously has come out a while ago and it's well past 2004 now, so I wonder what happened to him. wonder if he's still alive or if he got out and is living a normal life now. Yeah, obviously I didn't really know what to expect going into this movie, but it still was not what I was expecting from like a gangster movie. Just the way that the story progressed and the way that the editing was done. It was not a traditional story at all, at least for me, in my opinion, but it was still done in a very interesting way. Like, I was interested in what was going on throughout the movie, and the fact that it was based off a true story obviously does make it a lot more interesting. I don't know how true to the events the whole movie was, or if they took a lot of liberties as far as the story. Great acting in it overall, though, specifically from Frank Liotta and from... Robert De Niro, I thought they both did a great job. Joe Pesci was good as well, but I don't feel like he was in it as much as those two, so the other two kind of stood out for me a lot more. I thought that Robert De Niro was the lead actor in this movie, actually, just seeing his name listed first and stuff. Martin Scorsese definitely is a very, very capable director, though. I thought this movie was very well directed. And I know I've mentioned it a ton already, but I think the editing for me was one of the best aspects of the movie, just the way that they moved from scene to scene so well, even though it was covering so much information and a lot of it was in such differing locations. So now that I've seen this and the God Godfather trilogy. I don't know what other like main gangster movies I need to see are, but I know there's The Irishman. I don't know if that's a gangster movie or not, but it's got Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, so I assume it is, and Joe Pesci, I believe. If there's any other big gangster movies, let me know. So another Martin Scorsese and another gangster movie down can definitely see why people enjoy this one so much. Very unique experience and a very different experience from the Godfather trilogy, which is the other gangster movies I've seen recently. Since I didn't really know anything about the plot or anything like that, that's kind of the only thing that I was expecting was a similar movie to that, but obviously it's a very, very different style but not in a bad way, just a different director, very different style of filming and editing, and it works. And because the movie and the story is moving so fast throughout, I'm sure that there's a lot of things that I didn't necessarily pick up on or that I missed per se that I would understand more after some thought or maybe on a rewatch at some point. And so I definitely probably don't have a full appreciation for it as a lot of people do having seen it a lot over the years. But for it coming out 30 years ago, I can definitely see how it would have been super influential and super impactful because even watching it now in 2020, it's still very impressive in most of the aspects of the film, especially technical, looks very good, a lot of great shots in there. And so this movie probably would have been unlike a lot of things that people had seen up to that point so I can understand why it would have been such a big hit then and I don't know if it had instant notoriety when it first released or if over the years it just gained more respect 
and critical acclaim. But regardless of when it gained all the notoriety, it's definitely got the attention that it deserves. And glad that I could get another Martin Scorsese watch in for the channel. Definitely have a lot of his movies that I haven't seen that I'll need to check out down the road. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching my reaction to this one. And if you did, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. That helps the video reach a lot more people, helps the channel out. And if you'd like to watch along with me for the entire runtime, definitely check out my Patreon link in the description. That's where you can find that, as well as all the other full length reactions from the channel. Obviously, you'll need your own copy of the movie to watch along with me, but look forward to engaging with you all in the comments of this one. If you have any interesting thoughts about the movie or any behind the scenes stuff, as always, let me know. I love reading those kind of comments. It definitely helps my appreciation of the movies that I watch. But I look forward to seeing you all in the next video, and until then, peace. Thank you.